All right. So I want this lesson to be as kind of a review, but it's going to be short and sweet. So to keep it short. Okay. So we know what a, a struct does. We already seen the use of the private and public here. Let's say I delete these. I just want to delete these words private and public. Okay. Now notice if I begin to type in a variable a dot notice that there's not a lock on these variables because they're all public. Okay. It's simple enough. Right, I can do whatever I want with them. I can set it equal to seven or or whatever. You know, I'm gonna delete this uh for this for the time being I'm gonna delete this thing. I'm gonna delete this default constructor. Alright now let's change this to class. Okay, see what happens here. Oh we got an error here. What's this error? <coughs> let's let me uh look at this. Do you see all these here? These all have locks on them. These are all private. And that's the reason why I want to delete the uh, constructor earlier. Where's it at? What do I do with it? There it is. Because if, if I change this to the class here... Oops. It, it actually won't let me even make the variable because the class is, the, the uh, constructor itself is private. So I'm going to delete it for the time being. But all these variables are uh, by default um, private. <coughs> so that's the difference between class and struct. If I made this struct, everything would just by default be public. If I made it class, everything by default would be private. It's the only difference. Now, let me uh, pop these keywords back in here. Public and private. And I want to uh, put this constructor back in just to have it. Now I don't have a problem. Now everything's back to normal. As long as I have these keywords public and private in here, class and struct are interchangeable. They're the same exact thing. Struct was, uh, in the original C language, they didn't have class. Class is a new thing to C++, and everybody likes the term. So you, when you hear people talking about class, they really mean a class. Or when, when you hear about struct, it's going to be a class. And most people are going to be using class. And that's the terminology we're going to be using. It's an object. It's any object. So from here on now, I'm going to be using the keyword class. So that was it. That's the difference. And uh, so I recommend uh, using private when you want to. And you can, in fact, just make everything public if you feel like it. I'm not, but there it is. And everything still runs the same. And in fact, uh, just to show you a little bit more on uh, on these keywords here. All right, something happened here. Okay, you can actually say, okay, I want this, I want these three to be public, private. I want this one to be public, but I want this down here to be private. And then you can go back and forth and just slip in keywords here and there.
let's see what it looks like from our when we start to type here. A dot. We'll see that portions of them are public, some of them are private. So you can say, okay, these three variables are private. This function here, these two guys here, this variable and this function here is public, but this is private now. Everything down here is now private. So right here, these two functions here are private, but the the constructor and the uh, get height is public. Now, if we made the constructor private here, which we do not want to do, or we'll have an issue, we will not be able to declare this variable here. It won't let us. So this thing has to be public, if we can. But really, to, uh, I'm just showing you that you can do this here. Most people are probably going to have public private variables at the top and public variables at the bottom. So most people are going to have this private and public and one, just one of those each, but I'm just showing you a couple things that you can do. So that's the wrap on this video. Next, uh, we're going to get a little bit more in depth using classes. So we're just going to take it up a notch. But now that you know the uh, anatomy of a class, now it has functions and it has variables and it's basically your own variable type and you can make things public or private but we'll start to use more we'll start to use examples now in the next couple videos